Hey there adventurers, ever wanted a mix of Donkey Kong Country's charm, Crash Bandicoot's chaos, and a Todd named Todd? You're in the right place. Today we're diving into Nico de Rico, the magical world. It's got mongooses, cobra dragons, and collectibles galore. But is it a magical masterpiece or just a messy mashup platforming nostalgia? Let's glide, hop, and barrel roll away to the truth. Let's start with what Nico de Rico does really well platforming. From 2D horizontal runs to vertical climbs and sprawling 3D segments, the game feels like a nostalgic love letter to classic platformers. Take this sequence, for example, outrunning a gigantic cobra dragon while narrowly dodging falling boulders. Moments like these are pure adrenaline and show that the devs get the thrill of the good chase. And let's talk co-op. Grab a friend and you'll feel like a chaotic dream team or a maybe disaster do depending on how well you work together either way it's a blast okay and the months todd the todd hops to new heights ocean is slices of through water with laser precision and umbra the bat lets you soar it's like a devs threw in mini games just to keep things fresh and honestly i'm here for it it's clear the dev poured their hearts into recreating that classic platforming vibe you'll feel echoes of dkc and crash every River, from the tight controls to the punishing yet satisfying boss fights. Now, let's touch on this story. Our heroes Nico and Luna must stop the evil Baron Grimbald from invading Magical Island. It's your classic save the world setup, you know, told through a snazzy opening cutscene and that's about it. Look, nobody's expecting the Last of Us levels of storytelling here, but I was hoping for a bit more. Maybe some quirky sly characters or deeper lore. Instead, we get a basics and a pat on the back. That's it. Device cracks from Nico and Luna to add a little personality. It's not much, but hey, it's a better than complete silence, right? Now, on the fun part, the glitches. Ever lift off the cliff, ready to glide to safety only to plumb to your doom because the glider decided it was on break. Yeah, that's Nico de Rico. And in co-op mode, the camera sometimes feel like it's playing its own game of hide and seek. Why is it so hard to see where we are going? Textures are another issue. On an Xbox Series S, some objects look so slowly that they look like they belong in a PS2 game. But not a deal breaker, but definitely a head scratcher. Now, about those collectible keys, gems, and other shiny stuff. What are they for? After beating the game and revisiting every vault, I still don't know. Is it just the busy work, a prank? Who knows? Even the achievements offer no clues. So if you are a completionist hoping for a secret bonus vault, prepare to be disappointed. Now, let's dive deeper into gameplay itself. The levels are huge, filled with hidden paths and collectibles, even if their purpose is a mystery, the mix of 2D and 3D platforming keep things fresh, and the mounts add a fun twist. The bosses are another highlight, each one has unique attack patterns, forcing you to stay on your toes. They're challenging, but in that just one more try kind of way, you know? The puzzles are simple but spot satisfying, nothing groundbreaking, but they are break up the action nicely. And let's be real, half the fun is failing hilariously before finally nailing that tricky jump or dodge. It's frustrating in the best way, you know? If you're wondering how Nico de Rico stacks up against other DKC inspired games, you know, like Kays or Ukulele, here's the deal. It's fun, but it's not as polished or original. If you play those and want more, this is worth a try. Otherwise, start with the, you know, other. So, is Nico de Rico the magical world worth your time? If you're a fan of classic platformers and can overlook some junk, absolutely. It's got heart, humor, and plenty of fun moments. But if you're expecting the flawless experience you might want to temper those expectations, this isn't the next Donkey Kong Country. But it's a decent tribute. Have you played Nico de Rico? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell. Until the next time, stay magical my friends, peace.